Yeah. Say it's admire. It's admire. You know where that's from? No. It's from Kansas. What's Kansas? What's Kansas? What's Kansas? What's Kansas? Kansas is a state. And this was bigger than any of the clamps that I had for the isomet. So um, I know they make waffle clamps that are, are iron, or not iron, uh, aluminum, like, uh, like Pat was saying. Um, so I made myself an acrylic one. Nice. And was able to get this slice that's uh, probably two millimeters um nice. so this stuff i mean admire i'm sure i'm sure there's some really solid admire uh you know this stuff is a little the olivines uh you can see they have like fracture in them so mm -hmm. hopefully it stays together when it comes off but to give you an idea oh my god I, oh wow you, two oh. mil Really? You know, I was trying to maximize getting uh, as much of the olive being transparent as I could. So, uh, hey, Cameron, how's it going? Uh, let's see. I have one thing to show you. Ooh, Ooh. You is see. that a Luna Brescia? It sure is. Ooh. 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 I just wanted to show my thirteen nine nine two. A baker's dozen. Nice. <laughs> How many total grams is that, man? Um, 10.2, I believe. Nice. See, no, that's so they're really... all right real close to um, one gram in individuals between like 0.8 and one. So oh. to have a, a one gram piece of the, of the moon that's classified like that, a one gram is super affordable for people. You know, definitely under 50 bucks. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, you know, I, being a man of my word, none of those are for sale. I told um, Roberto that I will not sell any of those online. Oh, man. James has got his piece. Oh, my. Uh, wow. Chicago Lynn? Chicago Lynn. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Pretty. Very nice. nice. It was that uh, is oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh it's the Aerolite. area Aerolite's mom. Aerolite, right. <laughs> yeah. That is wow. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece. That's actually my first purchase. Holy wow. crap, you came out swinging. This is oh, not oh. lunar. Is it a some Ukraine? It is not a Ukrite. Is it a meteorite? Yes, it's an Albright. Oh, uh, Norton oh. County? Nope. WA one? Nope. This okay. is an old one from Texas. It's a Texas Albright. Can I guess yet? Yes, please go. <laughs> Penne Blanca Springs? Yeah. Oh, um, oh. He has... <laughs> He is excellent at photography. I just like every video, I'm blown away. Um, Cameron Smith will appreciate this. We're looking at Legal. That little piece up there. Wait till you see this video. Oh, this week I've got just a very short video for you. This little piece of Legle is my oldest meteorite. Well, oldest fall at least. I love how even this tiny fragment looks fresh even after more than 200 years. Even the metal is unoxidized. What? 0.65 gram and one centimeter wide uh, slice is my only piece of uh, Howardite. This western surface breccia or regolith, it's one crazy mixture of different clusters. Not mm -hmm. only does it contain diogenite and eucrite fragments, but also has clear CM inclusions. These are obviously xenolithic, a part of a carbonaceous meteorite strike in Vesta. Not only that, but there are also obvious metal flakes, which are also xenolithic inclusions. 
parts of an iron meteorite impactor. I cannot believe the 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 complexity of this piece. Yeah. Wow. I think um, everybody has talents of some sort. Dom Young, photography is your gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this. There we go. Oh, oh my. Nice. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> you got like a, a millimeter? Like three that, millimeters? I don't know. Um, what. It's less than that. One and a half or two. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Pat. There's a lot of metal in there? Hey, yeah, I hear Pat in there. Yeah, 1.1. Like mm -hmm. Wow. wow. 1.1. Wow, nice. That's that's impressive, Jules. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hold Thank on, let me you. This in. I learned something, but it was sad. <laughs> this one is mine. Beautiful. Yeah. I I asked is that a permission. Little fusion crust on it on the edges. Too? I'll check in one second. I I asked permission for Jules because she was she gave them to me. It was like give them away and and you know for outreach and and for people. So. I was like, uh, yeah, but I'm keeping one of them. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this chondral right there. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, beautiful. Yeah. And look at the big metal bleb uh, pie, oh, too. absolutely. Nice. That was a nice chondral. Oh, there's a there bleb on this side? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first I wanted to show you uh, Kane's as because we're not Ooh. in Kansas Ooh, anymore. That's my birthday stone. Yeah. Are you serious? Serious. Oh, nice. A CO 3.2, and it's a witnessed fall. I'll take wow. it. And not just the steps, but the thought process behind uh, classification. So here's what we assume. Here's what we observed which now leads us in this direction, that type of thing. So, yeah, we definitely look forward to <clears throat> more episodes and, and Daniel joining us. And usually when he does those, he sticks around for the, uh, he sticks around for the, for the hangout. So we usually end up getting some extra time with him. Sticking, uh, sticking with stuff from Roberto. I'll, I'll start there. So uh, I, uh, he had a couple of thin sections he had never looked at before. So uh, we fixed that this weekend. I hopped in the car with the scope and drove up there and hung out with him for the day. Nice. And, uh, scoped up yeah. some of his stuff, cut some stuff open, etched a piece of Pungar. So it was a pretty good time. A yes. uh, little thank you that he sent me home with, which I was appreciative of. So that's uh, a Ukrite melt breccia that he's uh, he's getting classified. So that's still an NWA XXX. Yeah. Um, but it's a pretty pretty nice material in there, so I'm looking at hopefully taking that bigger piece and uh, turning it into a thin section. Nice. That thin that section. would look beautiful and reflect across polarized light too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, slice. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other one, which I thought was really cool, that I, I got to take home a little piece. This was is uh, thirteen zero seven seven. So that's a one of seventeen R three through five. Uh, mm -hmm. What was really cool is uh, that was his first classification, and there's only seventy grams of it total. So it's very wow. appreciative to wow. get a cool little piece like that. So not directly meteorite related, but but uh, unnatural glasses. Um, this is what a kilogram of trinitite looks like. Wow! You did it? That's a lot. Yeah. It is radioactive, not uh, yep. not, not tremendous, but uh, uh, but it is still radioactive. All right, so these are just little fragments of an H5 chondrite, but each one has such awesomeness to it. Like, I'll just, here, let me see, I'll grab this one right here. Oh, nice crust. Beautiful crust on that. It's really weird if you catch it at the right light. Yeah, it looks iridescent. Is that from Sweden? No, this is... Um, Tomdok. Yeah, Tomdok 
Oh. I think it's Algerian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Today, I received a new main mass. Oop. Oh. This is from Grant Harkness. Yeah. Pat Brown, mm. I think you commented on the post uh, last month when I purchased this. This is NWA 12887. It's 1,768 grams. And Kevin, and is, this your is this your first main mass? No, okay. it's not. But this is my biggest <laughs> meteorite. <laughs> wow. That's nice. When I first held it, I was like, wow. When you hold other <laughs> rocks that are compared to this size and the weight, like this gives mm. you a real feel for how heavy meteorites actually are. Yeah. I love the deep regnoglyphs on the front side. That's yes. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Classification for a single stone or the many stones? This is a single stone find, one of one. Oh, and uh, wow. oh. it's the only one. You can see they sliced it to go to science and get it classified. But um, no, this is the only piece available. <laughs> wow. And it's a pretty big one. That's yeah. sexy. I reached out to one of the two listed main mass holders just because to, to take the long shot. And now my set <laughs> is wow. complete. Wow. So that's wow. CO Melt Breccia, yeah. one of one, only 26 point, it was like 4.7 grams uh, total known weight. So that's pretty that's cool. And it's right from the listed main mass, one of the two listed main mass holders, Hanos Truth. Oh, and yeah, for those who don't follow us every single week, uh, Mike is our, our Mike. Well, he, we, when we first started, he was our micro collector. Now he's our class collector. He's been upgraded. Because <laughs> <laughs> some of the ones he's gotten since he, we, we started the hangouts are not micro, so it doesn't really fit anymore. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, Diversity is a spice of life. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look real. Yeah, mm. this, this one is an interesting one. Um, Doesn't yeah. look like it's a meteorite. That one to show people, it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, that yeah. one's a no. That yeah. one's a no. No. And the uh, right-hand picture in the upper, like, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock position at the very top, those little things right there don't look normal. Exactly what I zoned in on, too, Ron. And look at all the streaky nature of yeah, it. The the streaks, plastic right? deformation. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Some sort of slag. Yeah. Uh, and melted then, metal. And that's uh, funky because okay. there's some rocks incorporated in it on the right photo. That's an oyster shell. <laughs> it has a blobby sort of look yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah, not a meteorite. Not a meteorite. Look at all uh, these voids. Too easy Weird fractures around those voids, too. There can be uneducated people thinking these are meteorites, and that's explainable. Then there are outright now manufacturing attempts at creating fake meteorites, yeah. and um, they are going to get better the it's going to get harder and harder to tell they're going to start faking famous meteorites and the uneducated are going to get bamboozled yep big yeah. down i included this one in particular for one reason can you guys no figure out why i picked this one no witness stuff yes. exactly i heard Whitman statin from ron if yeah. you look at this it looks as if it does have some type of Vidman statin pattern in it due to heating. If you look at it, it's all burnt. All the olivines are all affected. It's, it yep. is a, okay. Yeah. The, 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 the natural thing is that the, the palisites uh, are not colored by rust. They're colored by a continuous substitution between uh, magnesium and iron in the, mm -hmm crystal lattice so i just i just am really really scared for the future when i see that you know when i started 
four years ago, I wouldn't have fallen for this, but I might have believed that. Yeah. Yeah, that one that one is pretty interesting. Yeah. So uh, I've got two slabs. They're pretty pretty thick. Each weighs about 135 grams or more. Wow. That's beautiful. This week with uh, Randy Tatum, remember he gave us a video last week with uh, thin section slides that he made himself from impact material. Well, this week he's going to take us on a slight tour of his um, impact height, impact height collection and his microscopes. Anyhow, uh, that's some macro evidence of impact height. And I'm gonna show you some now, some uh, table with some wrenches on it. And this is a big. Okay, yeah. I paused it right there. Can anyone wow. name this famous breccia? But, hey, guys, that was a really good two-hour hangout. I appreciate everyone's attending and sharing their knowledge and their meteorites and their time with us because uh, it's a good way to spend two hours talking with your friends about one of your favorite things. So thanks for joining, everyone. I appreciate it. Have a great week. Thank weekend. you, Topher. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good week, everybody.